Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these potions for Halloween. Did it with my kids. They really enjoyed it. And uh, they're pretty, pretty cool looking. So here's what we're going to use to make these potions. We've got some wax sticks. They uh, go right in the hot glue gun. And then uh, my daughter picked some blue food coloring. And we've got this mica powder. And then we got our jar. And then some twine to wrap around the neck of the container. And then some rubbing alcohol. This is what we put inside. All right, go ahead and open your, your potion container and pour in the rubbing alcohol. Yep. You might want to pick that up and... Yep, pick that up. Fill it all the way up, just so it's just below here, right there. <laughs> How about you tip it more so it's upside down? That's good. Now... <laughs> wipe up all your stuff. It's not a kid's project if they don't make a big mess that they have to clean up. Okay. And now what you're gonna wanna do is one drop of your blue food coloring. So just add one drop of food coloring because you can always add more. If you want a different color, you can't take it away. So the same thing goes for the uh, mica powder. So you can always add more. It's just you're not going to be able to take it away. That's a nice blue. That's too much. Perfect. Let's see how that does. Don't get the spoon wet. Set that on the lid. All right. Right here, I'm getting ready to uh, put the twine around the neck of the bottle. And I've created a upside down loop or upside down U. And I am wrapping the twine over top of it. It's a lot easier with a longer neck bottle. You wanna keep everything nice and tight if you can. So as you wrap around it, you keep that loop out of the way and you would normally stack all your wraps on top of each other, one on top of the other and then push it down. Right now I'm cutting the string off and I'm gonna loop the end through the loop I created and pull the string at the bottom. I'm pulling them in opposite directions to make it all nice and tight. And I'm trying to readjust the string so that it's all stacked on top of each other. I'm gonna cut this string as close to the neck of the bottle as I can and then I'm gonna pull it into the wraps and then cut this bottom off and just push it up under the string. All right now we're going to add an aged look to the twine that we wrapped around the neck of the bottle. So we've got some brown paint and we've got some water and I'm having my daughter thin out the paint so it just looks like a dirty, dirty kind of mud water. And then what she's going to do is paint that around on the string and it should give it a nice aged look as it dries. So here what we're doing is we are sealing the cork in using some sealing wax. Now it is uh, in the shape of a hot glue gun stick 
and it goes right in your hot glue gun and it melts pretty easily and it gets pretty pretty liquidy so we're creating a seal all the way around it and then what we're gonna do is just uh, pile it all on right on top so that way uh, it covers up the cork completely and then it will start to run because it's pretty liquidy and it'll just run down the edges and around the around the bottle and onto the twine making a really kind of cool look all right so i'm gonna put a link to all the products that i use to make this craft so it's pretty inexpensive and i've made several of them so we'll have some nice halloween decorations for this upcoming halloween and i'll leave a a link to the video that I watched to learn how to do this. So thanks, like and subscribe.